Hi, welcome to the channel. This is Kirtan here. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. It's the second episode of QTT, wherein today we will learn something important as well. Without further ado, let's start the video. So guys, meet Varun. Oh, here he is. He went to a builder in search for a flat. Rather than coming back with an information, he ended up being more confused. So what happened? Before approaching any builder, make sure to do some sort of basic research. For a proper clarity, let's take an example of a brochure of an apartment. Skipping all the other categories, let's focus on area statement. As we see on the screen, we have a plan. Type of flat is mentioned as 3 BHK. There is an area mentioned above as well, which says that it is 1390 square feet. If you measure the entire area of the flat, it will surely not match with 1390 square feet. It will be lesser than that. Let's move on to the another example. If you see in the screen, this is a ground floor plan of an apartment, has 8 flats or 8 units, area of which is listed above, which reads as flat number 1 with 1475 square feet, flat number 2 with 1125 square feet, list goes as on. Question arises, what does the area denote? Is it a total floor area? Let's find it out. That particular area which we have seen is termed as SBA. What is this SBA? SBA stands for super built up area and can also be termed as saleable area of a flat. This is an area to which a flat in an apartment is being sold for. But let me tell you, this isn't just your flat area. There is some extra areas included in super built up area. We need to figure out what are the areas involved in SBA. Here we have got a formula for SBA which goes as SBA is equal to built up area plus common area. Out where built up area is equal to carpet area plus external wall, balconies plus sit outs etc. And then we have to know what is carpet area. Let's keep it simple. We'll start from carpet area itself. Carpet area. As per RERA, carpet area is defined as net usable floor area of a flat. Also, we can say it as an area within the external walls. It is also noted that RERA states that we have to have a 1 inch of gap from the external wall to remove the area covered by the plastering. Wall uh, might be of 6 inches but after plastering it may uh, come up to 8 inches. We will go with an example. Right in front of us we have a plan of flat uh, which is of 3 BHK type. Now to get a carpet area we have to leave a gap around of 1 inches from the external wall as you see in the screen. Red colored line indicating the boundary of a carpet area. Herein, carpet area includes all the rooms in a flat, such as bedrooms, toilets, hall, kitchen, utility, etc. and also the inner walls. Calculating area of the yellow region. The carpet area is found to be 834.817 square feet. So that's the carpet area. Now, we have not included many components of a flat such as balcony, sit outs and etc. What we will do now, we will calculate the total area of individual components as we see in the screen now. We will add up all the areas including external wall so that the total sum will be 300.848 square feet. We will add these component areas to the carpet area and the value we get is termed as built up area. That is. 1135.38 square feet. So that's it with the built up area defined as an area obtained by adding all the components of a flat as shown. If in case you are buying an independent house, the built up area is the one which we will be paying for. In the case of apartments, we have to go with some additional parameters that is common area. In an apartment, we have corridors, stairs, lifts, lift lobby, shafts, clubhouse, headrooms, entrance lobby, etc. These are the components which will be used by all the flat owners in an apartment. In this case, all the 8 flat owners will be using this area. Adding all of these component areas and distributing it to the individual flat in a percentage basis is termed as common area. In this case, 1135.38 square feet was our built up area. We know the saleable area since we have the brochure with us. It says like 1390 square feet is the saleable area. The formula for SBA is as follows, SBA is equal to built up area plus common area. Now common area is equal to SBA minus built up area. That will give us 254.2 square feet. This is the additional area or common area we are speaking about. To find out the percentage, okay, if we divide the common area by the built up area, we will get 22.4 percentage. 
so this is the common area percentage which will be multiplied throughout the flats built up area so that we get a saleable area this is the extra area we will be paying for make sure that it is less than 24 percent so now we know how sba is being calculated sba of any flat is equal to the built up area of the same flat plus common area factor into built up area of the same flat wherein common area factor is obtained by common area factor is equal to common area of an entire apartment divided by total area of the apartment so this is how we obtain sba now, whenever we say carpet area make sure that carpet area is 70 percent of the built up area or more than that it shouldn't be less than that i hope so information was useful with that being said that's a wrap in this video until then keep learning stay safe